Hello everybody, I wanted to show you how you can use Amazon Web Services to share your SCORM files for free. Uh, if you don't have any hosting solution, you can create a free AUS account and you can use that to share SCORM files. Now, if you don't have already an account, go to aws.amazon.com. Uh, if you don't have an account, click on create an account and go through the steps. You do need a credit card for it. Uh, I already have one, so I will simply log in. Once you're logged in to your account, you need to do a search for S3. This is the service that we're going to use. Remember, you can use the free tier version and this will not cost you anything. This screen might look different in your case. If you don't have any buckets, you will see a bigger button to create a bucket and you will need to create a bucket. Now the bucket name must be unique, so it might be difficult. Let's use something I can remember. Scorm share free. I will copy this for later. Uh, you can select the region that best suits you. Leave the rest of the options and just go to create bucket. Once the bucket's been created, we need to make it public. So let's click on the recently created bucket. Uh, go to permissions. Now let's click on edit public access. We're going to unblock, save the changes. Let's type confirm. And now we will see this uh, text where we can enter the policy. Now go to the link provided in the description, that it's right here, and copy and paste this, or click here to copy the content. And we're going to paste this here. Uh, make sure there are no empty spaces here. Uh, I will show you why if you get an error message. So now we need to replace where it says bucket name with the name that we chose for the bucket. So let's copy this and replace bucket name here. I will show you now what happens if there is an empty space at the beginning. Uh, let's click on save the changes. If you get this error, unknown error, and the error is showing that we have an empty space. So go up here, uh, just delete the empty space. And now when you click on save the changes, this will be updated. Now let's go back to the bucket. You will now see that the bucket has public access. So only upload files that uh, you want people to access. Now let's go into the bucket and here we can upload now our SCORM package. Now we click on obviously the upload button. We're going to select other folder and select the folder where your SCORM package is. Now if you have a zipped package, unzip the package before uploading. You should upload the output folder. So I will select the folder, click on upload. Now it doesn't start uploading right away. At the bottom of the screen you will have the upload button. And now it will start loading up all the files. I will speed up the video now. Once the upload is finished, you will see some details. Just click on close. And now we can see the folder in here. Now we can enter the folder. And we need to look for this file, story.html. This is going to be the index file in our folder. So select this. Once selected, go to copy URL. And now that you have copied the URL, just open a new window, paste it, and you can the object or the SCORM package is shareable. You can uh, share the URL with anyone and they will be able to view your SCORM package hosted for free on Amazon Web Services. I hope you found this tip helpful and see you in the next one.